and it was, again, it worked out perfect. I'm on a beautiful Electra. I couldn't be any happier with a label than Electra, man. Great. It just really freaked out. I'm, uh, RSO, I didn't really want to, I didn't mind being there, but when the Bee Gees thing happened, I said, get, get me out of this mess. Yeah, it's going to be really crazy. And then I'm reading about Stigwood's on his boat, and he's paying 1,500 pounds to have the bridge raised. Yeah. I mean, this guy's on a giant vacation. He's being sued for millions of dollars. He could care less. Yeah, right. <laughs> so I said, God, give me with us some other label, man. <laughs> so thank God Corey got us with this. And Corey was very patient with us, and we were patient with him. So we owed each other patience. Right. That's what we owed each other. Because I said, Al, we got to get out of this contract. And Dan did, you know. And Dan was telling me, we got to get out. we got to get a record out of this. Then here we've canceled dates. I've canceled two tours, one of England, one of Australia. And, uh, you know, I'm telling my agent here that I can't work. We're waiting for the album to come out. We don't want to go out and do old songs anymore. It was just insane. <laughs> but we pulled through it really good, you know. But I really am with you. You know, Drop Down is one of my hot favorites on that album. Fabulous. And uh, so uh, I don't care what they go with this thing. I'm leaving that up to the company. I want to go with what they want to go with. Yeah. And I think they're putting the album out to get a feel of what they should go with. Yeah, sometimes they do that. It's good to have that many that they can pick from for singles. I'm, yeah. I'm happy with that. So how did Drop Down and Get Me come Drop about? Drop Down there? came about four or five years ago. I had the first verse, and uh, you can print this so you don't have to. I'm not ashamed of it, nor am I proud of it. But I had to go to the hospital. My booze was killing me. Yeah. Four years ago, approximately three and a half, three years and eight months ago, I went to, in January, I went to uh, the hospital for three weeks. Uh -huh. And I had this song. What hospital? Or not what, but just at least where? And in Los Angeles. Okay. I checked into a hospital. I, the booze was killing me, and I couldn't write songs anymore. I couldn't. I didn't want to work anymore. I didn't want to do anything. Yeah. I just wanted to drink, and uh, I knew something must have been must be wrong. You know. So I got to. I got to um, to the hospital, and I knew I had that idea. I dropped down and get me, and I said, "Man, I gotta." finish this song maybe because man I want to get the hell out of here man somebody come and get me out of here <laughs> what am I doing here I have I'm sick I have a disease of alcoholism and so it, it ended up being actually a spiritual song because you know the vision and everything I want to you know I don't want to get too God or anything with you but uh, it is a spiritual song uh, for me some people say, think it's dropped down and, and get on with it you know right a head job or something, but to me it, it means, and they can take it any way they want it. To me, I wrote it as a spiritual, like, just get me out of here, you know. Well, that's what it sounded like to me. Yeah, it's like a vision, and then uh, I wanted to be taken out of that hospital. So and then I wrote the, uh, I think a verse, uh, the second verse in the hospital. I know uh, people tell me there's a heaven, but I sure as hell know there's a hell because I've been there, you know. Yeah. I was living in hell, but that was a long time ago, and I haven't had a drink or a pill since, so it must be. Uh, uh, spiritual for me. Right. And then I wrote, like I told you, that bridge, uh, the yeah, chorus. in, in Australia. Uh, uh huh. And that's how that came about. And that's one we ran down a long time ago. And I'm again, I'm glad we had more time because then I could write that that bridge, which I think really makes the song complete. Yeah. Yeah. Well, shit, sounds good. Great. Uh, you've been really cooperative, Dell. It's been. Uh, it's. This is a great story. Hey, I'm glad, man. Okay. I'll be glad to help you in any way I can. Okay. Uh, I've always been that way, usually, unless it's total insanity. I have to watch uh, getting too busy. In yeah. other words, I've been busy, I've been through the tours, I've been 90 days on the road, 20, you know. I don't need that in my life today, you know. Yeah. And not that I, uh, uh, I just, what I want to do is I want to rock, I want to keep a balance in my life. I can afford that today, see. I have my my land that I can fall back onto, I'm all right, you know, I'm set fairly well. Right. So, but that doesn't mean that I'm, uh, I can sit back and retire. Yeah. You know, I want to go, you, there. now you, I want to go on the road and it's going to cost me a fortune for a band and the, and the road crew. So it's all going to go back into that, you see. So I definitely want to sell records. I'm ready to rock. Yeah. But now i got something to sell, see. Yeah. Boy, do you. Yeah. I think it's a killer, man, myself, <laughs> but. And uh, it's the best album I ever did. It absolutely is the best album I ever did in my life. And isn't this the first studio album you've done in like about 13 years? That's right. So, uh, what so I did Charles a live album. was the last one, wasn't it? That's the last album I did in the studio. I right. Did. Yeah, but, then, a... but then I did a live album, uh, live on stage in Manchester, England. Right, right. 75 or 4, I think.
Yeah. That's the end. That was the last uh, time I did it. I didn't want to cut an album. I didn't have the material, I didn't think. I worked with Jeff Lynn. We did he did a session with me. Mm -hmm. And uh, he'd say to me, what do you think? And I said, I guess it's all right. I just didn't know, you know. I let him take complete control. I did write the song that we did. He spent four extra days in town. He did a great job for me. It just, I got home and I said, it's just not the right thing for me. And then he said, you got to find a direction, Del, because, you know, Jeff and I are pretty close. And uh, I said, I know. And, and I knew I had a, a problem with the booze then. He knew it, too. Well, it's good that he had the faith in you. you know, oh, he right? did, yeah. He, he had so much faith in me. And, and he said, no, oh, you've got to write your own song. And he hasn't even heard this album. Oh, my God. I want him to hear it when it's completed. You he's going to be real proud of it. I hope so, you know. He's, he's going to be real proud of it. Because uh, I knew him when he was just starting out, you know, in five, four or five years ago. We, he used to come to see my act in uh, Manchester. Uh-huh. He sat in the club, and we'd talk, and I'd go to his house, and we'd, I'd cut a few tapes with him, Hank Williams stuff, which I love, you know. Right. And we just got along just great, you know. And then we get, became friends. He'd come out and spend a few days, and he got hotter in hell, and we... It was great. We had a great relationship, you know. And then he got busy, and then he did spend that time with me in the studio, and then i come home, and i said, God, i got to get help with my drinking, man. It's just... He said... He's the one that, that really sparked me by saying, you know, you got to find a direction, and he was actually telling me I didn't have a direction. Yeah. And I yeah. didn't. But we got one now, I think. Uh, I think so. We're popping. I think so. Well, well I'm looking forward to, to seeing the reaction to this. It's going to be a... Uh, I, I, can't, uh, I can't imagine that it won't be a completely rewarding experience. I, I'm sure it will, too. And especially the foreign countries also, you know. It'd be great there. Yeah. Uh, I think it's going to be released in, uh, what, Japan? Uh, I don't know. Uh, well, I'll have to find out. You ever been to Japan? How many times? Yes, three days. Three days? Yep. When was that? Oh, my gosh. 70, maybe 68, maybe, and I went to the Philippine Islands. Whoa. On my way there, I stopped at a TV show. Huh. But I think I've sold quite a few records there. I just never did a tour there. I probably will this time, you know. I probably, I plan, my... My goal is on this album is to tour here for two months, maybe get it kicked off here, then go to Australia, England, uh, who knows, Germany, the works, Japan, Far East, but sort of uh, in time. In spurts. In spurts, yeah. Yeah, that's that's the way most uh, most people are doing it these days. Yeah, I have to do it that way because if I don't, the business again will take over my life, and there ain't no way. Yeah. It doesn't have to, you know. When it does that, then I can't create. That's exactly it. There's too much time spent just just waiting to get on stage. Yeah, right. And uh, well, there'll be enough time. Excellent. All right. So anyway, Stephen, uh, is there anything else you ever need? Call Dan. Okay. If you need me for anything? You got my home number. Okay. And uh, I know you won't give it out, and that's cool. You just keep it yourself and uh, Shall check do. with Dan or myself on anything, you know. Okay, I really appreciate that. That's okay. And uh, I'll be back in touch. I'm going to get this transcribed, and I'll have uh, some copies sent over to Dan. Beautiful. And, uh, you know, you might want to check it out yourself. I would like to, yeah. Uh, we like to check t a lot of photos, if we can, pictures that are sent out. <clears throat> All my life, I've had bad photos out there sometimes. Teddy is the same way. I've learned it from him. I forget it. Oh, he only yeah. gave us one photo of himself uh -huh. to use, uh, and me together, so... Yeah, I'm the same way when it comes to photos and press. But Dan, he, he clears most of the stuff. Right. And he's a beautiful guy, and we've known each other for for years. Yeah, he's he's been real easy for me to work with too. We worked on a few other projects together. Yeah, great. So anything you need, check with him, and we'll cooperate all we can. Fabulous, Del. You got it, man. All right. Have a good one, and uh, have a safe trip. Okay. Okay, man. We'll see you when you get back. Bye, bye.